Right, I've got a problem with Nossie. I don't know if I don't want to get too close, it freaks him out. He's about a year old, and a vampire fish can suddenly die about a year old. Um, but what's happening lately, sorry about the poor picture, but I don't want to get too close. He's not feeding, he's not eating. Now what's happening is he wants to eat. You see him there, he's got some bits there. And he wants to eat them, but he can't seem to open his mouth. He's hungry. He wants to eat, but he can't seem to open his mouth for some reason. Now I know these die suddenly after about a year. I'm wondering, is it because the way their mouth develops and their massive teeth... Something happens and they can't open their mouth anymore. But he goes down to feed on it, but he just can't get his mouth open. There's a few bits on there, and, and like I say, he does want them. But he can't seem to open his mouth to pick them up and eat them. He's getting a bit desperate now to your net for about a week. I wonder if it's worth getting him out to open the mouth to see what's going on. Is that why they suddenly die after about a year? Because um, the way their mouth and teeth develop and it becomes a problem sometimes. Hmm. But he's trying, but he just can't get it get a piece in his mouth. Mouth does open, but he doesn't seem to be able to open it to eat things. Still opens. Can see him open and shut it himself. So it's in a damp towel. I'm opening and shutting it, but he's not. So he does that little movement with his mouth, opening and shutting, like he's doing like that kind of thing. But I haven't seen his mouth open his mouth up properly for quite a while. He does that. He does that little muttering type thing. I haven't seen him open his mouth up really wide for quite a while. Well, what I've done is I've done a parasite treatment because that that little little, little movements of his mouth. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like a parasite. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, it's about a week, two weeks after the um, medication I put in here. Nossi didn't survive. It was bizarre. Strange one. Normally when they're sick, the first thing that happens is they go off their food. But he wanted to eat, he just mechanically, he couldn't for some reason because of his mouth. Never mind. Well, it's the 10th of June 2020 and I just opened the top up to um, feed on um, the perch and the pike. And the perch is dead. Now, she has, I think she's got a lot of eggs in her and she's been un unable, it's June, and I was expecting some eggs to come out, wow, a couple of months ago, and I haven't done, so I'm wondering if it's just she was unable to pass the eggs this year, she's got a very big stomach, but yeah, she had, she was holding a lot of eggs, quite a stressful time for them, but the perch is gone, I just brought out, I've just got her on, I just brought her out some maggots, because I got her on maggots. She stopped eating. I didn't have to give her um, life things all the time. 
I just got one like it's sort of about three weeks ago. Lucius down here. Don't even see that bloody huge. I felt like she was struggling through the through the um to dish out the eggs, you know. Oh, that's a shame. I've had about four years. Yeah. Poor little perch, yeah. I wonder if she was struggling to get rid of the eggs this year. Never mind. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out some films now that's coming up on the screen. Feel free to touch one of them, click on one of them, and I'll see you again some other time. Ooh, yes.